removing some tamper proof screws. So I've got some heavy duty cutoff wheels and then here's some lighter duty cutoff wheels. I'm going to be using my heavy duty cutoff tools. I have some, like I said, tamper proof screws that I need to remove. notch the screws so that I can actually turn them out. Anyway, on the front of this deal here we've got a little Phillips, a little common screw, not a Phillips screw. I'm going to remove that screw and that will allow us to add our cutoff wheels to this head here. So there's the cutoff wheel. We'll take that little tiny screw, pass it through, and turn it on in. And you don't want to over tighten these, just snug is good. And you may have to replace it often depending on what you're doing. I'm going to be cutting into some metal screw heads and giving a flat bit that I can turn out. Uh, to make things easier anyway this goes back in here just like like a drill bit and I'll push the button down again so it locks in place and then tighten it down and for tightening I can pretty much just hand tighten it release it now I'm ready for action now I'm changing the blades of course you want to have this unplug plugging it in now testing it out Got different speed settings here. I'm ready to cut away. A notch in these tamper-proof screws, so I'll be able to turn them out. Definitely want to make sure you're wearing safety glasses for this. Maybe some ear protection. I'm set it to my highest speed. Okay, there we go. Now I can rekey the lock.